Yeah. So I saw you down there uh, with the crew getting out, and they were walking out to their cars. Yeah, they look great. They're excited. I, I think I saw you. You were holding your phone, <laughs> getting some shots. I did. I, I got. Yeah, you know, I kind of admit I'm a little bit of a, a space nerd. Well, hey, listen. I mean, you've been to space four times, so you understand what these folks are going through right now. I mean, it's getting real. These seats are articulating up. You can see it moving right now, Bob, as they get into position there. Yep. Uh, this must be a moment where it kind of gets real. Oh, it, yeah. Once you're strapped in, and it, wait till they close the hatch, then it's really real. <laughs> is that where? Is that the moment <laughs> yeah. it clicks? Yeah. Then it's like, okay, we're inside this thing. We're going. You know, it, what's the feeling? What I mean, what what, what kind of well, goes through your head? So it, it depends on different. I mean, okay, on my first flight, okay, what absolutely went through my head was, I don't want to screw this up. <laughs> you know, I want to make sure I don't aim. make any mistakes. Yeah. I mean, I was really focused on uh, making sure that I did everything absolutely perfect. Section three, and and two, you don't know what to expect. Uh, first off, no simulator on Earth can prepare you for what it's like to ride a rocket into space. I mean, you practice everything, but. Man, it just gets up and goes. That acceleration, that force pushing you back in the seat, it, it's something else. And so not knowing what that's going to be like, there's a little bit of anticipation. You know, when you go a second and third time, then you got a little more idea of what to expect and you can relax a little bit more. But So there's, a, there's anticipation of what is this going to be like? What is this going to feel like? And you would think there's some nerves there, right, just naturally in this moment. Um, but these four astronauts, they also ate extremely well. So I hope that the nerves <laughs> don't get them too much. They ate well because they were at the astronaut crew quarters. You've been hosting them for the past week. Sure. And tell me about what they got to eat. Like Anything they wanted. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> On the menu, whatever you want. I heard like New York strip steak, basmati yeah. rice. Yeah, wh whatever. There was some dressing thrown yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, life in crew quarters is good. Yeah. With the, uh, there's one crew, we used to have a motto in crew quarters, eat till you're sleepy and sleep till you're, it's time you're hungry. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's a good way to leave. I'm surprised you can get them out there to get on the rocket with that kind of living. So that's why you don't want to spend too much time in crew quarters. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it, it's, we do a, a great job uh, protecting our astronauts from uh, you know, keeping them healthy. But yeah. you know, it's not about, it's, it's just amazing what we do. You know, I, I would trade places with any one of them in a heartbeat. I, I'm just, I'm really proud of these guys. And I'm, I'm proud of what we've accomplished as a nation to have this commercial crew program. Kathy Leaders and her team have just done an outstanding job getting it, you know, getting Bob and Doug Hurley up there uh, and home safely, paving the way for this first uh, flight under contract with SpaceX. Yeah. You know, this is the future, and we want to get Boeing flying too. They're right over here building the CST-100. We got to have them have a successful flight so that we have dissimilar redundancy so that we can get crews to and from the International Space Station. Their test launch right around the corner yep. uh, next year in 2021. Bob Cabana, thanks so much for being here. Appreciate your insight as always. Bob <laughs> thanks Cabana for having me, Daryl. Flew into space four <laughs> times, folks. So between me and him, we have four flights into space. There you go.